friends, today we're going to talk about gladiolas. And over here on my patio, I planted these gladiolas in early spring. I think it was in episode two. And they are gorgeous. I call these my ladies in red. They're just so beautiful. But what you want to do is when you are thinking about planting and purchasing glads, make sure when you buy your bulbs or called corms that they're firm, they're sturdy, and they're solid. And then you want to plant them as the little growth is going up. Okay, so when you plant these in early spring, you can use your bulb auger or you can use your trowel, but just make sure you plant them about six to eight inches in the soil so that they'll get really solid when they grow. Now, what you may want to go out right now and get, you can get them at any kind of garden store, these stakes, and I buy about 24 to 30 at a time. Then I tape them, and when I need them for their spring, they're ready. Because if you don't stake them early on, they can go droopy. And you, the, the best way to remember it is stake it, don't break it. Stake it, don't break it. I know, I think of these silly little things. So come on down, and I'm going to show you when it starts to grow, the stalk grows, you just stake it right in the ground. Remember, they get a little top heavy. heavy. They're really pretty, but they'll fall over. And also with a lot of this bad weather and storms and rain, you don't want to lose these because they're so beautiful. Now, if they do break off, just snip it and put it in a vase because they're so gorgeous in a, in a setting. So friends, I hope you learned a little bit about the gladiolus. They're perennial and they're bulb and they come back every year. But one last thing is, is when you do plant them, try to plant your bulbs and then two weeks later, close to that bulb, plant new ones. And two weeks later, plant other bulbs. That way you have the color all summer. So friends, I love you and I look forward to our next video. 